Artivive is the incredible platform that allows artists to merge traditional art with augmented reality technology to create unique and captivating experiences for the viewers. Traditional art, such as paintings, drawings, and sculptures, can be enhanced with digital overlays using the Artivive app. Welcome to Bridge by Artivive. This powerful and user-friendly creator tool is perfect for both beginners and advanced users. With Bridge, you can easily add a new digital layer to your physical artwork and create a whole new dimension of art that can be viewed on a smartphone or tablet. As you can see on the computer screen, we have an example of an AR artwork that has been created using Bridge. In this example, you can see the trigger image in the background and the 3D object in it. This is just a small example of what you can create with Bridge. As you can see, the animation is seamlessly integrated into the trigger image creating a new dimension of art. What is a trigger image? The trigger image is the main static image that serves as a visual cue or marker for the AR experience. When you open the Artivive app and scan the art, it recognizes it and launches the AR experience. The art, which in this case is the trigger image, should be unique and easily recognizable, with high contrast and easy to see and scan. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the basic and 3D Pro modes for Bridge by Artivive. First, create your account on Artivive.com and log into Bridge. On the top right corner of the Artivive homepage, click on Register, fill out your name and email address, and then add your portfolio. Let's do this. Once you register, you will receive an email activation link. Now you can easily log into Bridge. As you can see, the Bridge homepage is clean and easy to navigate. In the middle, you have the views count, which allows you to track how many views your artworks have received in real time. This attribute allows you to track the number of times your artworks have been scanned and right next to it, you have the upgrade button, where you can check your current plan and upgrade it if needed. On the top right corner, you have the invite friends feature, where you can invite friends to join and earn rewards. Next to it, you have the home button, which takes you back to the homepage at any time. This is followed by add artwork and add folder icons. You can create your first AR artwork by clicking on it. Next to it is the support, where you can access the onboarding tutorial and the knowledge base if you have any questions. Next is the profile, where you can find all the information needed regarding your profile, such as your name, billing information, and your current plan. In the corner, you have the logout feature, where you can disconnect from Bridge when you're finished. Finally, here you have the search bar, which helps you to find specific artworks by name once you have created thousands of AR artworks. Adding an artwork or folder in Bridge is simple. Click the Add Artwork or Add Folder button and follow the prompts. Uploading the image and animation for your AR artwork is easy. Click Select File and upload a JPEG or PNG image format. Then click on the Add Video button and select the files you want to use. All the video formats from this list here are accepted. You can remove the background of your video using the transparency feature. Click the background of your image and adjust the threshold for more precision. Now give your artwork a name and save it by clicking the Save button on the top right corner. Once you have saved your AR artwork, it will enter the processing stage. Once it's done processing, you can view it on the home page and see the number of views. The number of stars indicates the recognition score of your trigger image. The higher the score is, the better the Artivive app will recognize the image. You have to make sure the image is clear. Click play to see the animation preview. The artwork can be now scanned with the Artivive app. If you want to create folders to organize your artwork, click add new folder, give your folder a name. Then drag and drop your artwork. Bridge also offers a 3D Pro mode for more advanced users. To use it, click Add Artwork and then change it to the 3D Pro mode. With the 3D Pro mode, you can create your artwork with more precision by using multiple 3D models and layers of images, videos, and more. You can add a target image by clicking on the Add Image. The supported file formats for the trigger image are PNG and JPG, the same as for the basic mode. To add a layer, click on the Add Layer button. The supported files for layers include image files, video files, and 3D models. The supported formats for 3D models are GLB, GLTF, and the GLTF files can be zipped. Make sure to have all the textures of the object in the zip file. You can add as many layers as you want, but keep in mind that the total size of your 3D objects cannot exceed 3 megabytes. But for the video files, the maximum file size is 100 megabytes, and you could upload up to 3 unique videos. Let's add a video layer to remove and adjust the background transparency as we have seen in the basic mode. 
You can adjust it from here. In order to preview the video, click on the play video icon. To interact with the layer, you can click on the layer panel or the layer itself to activate its features. The first feature is move, which lets you move the object on the screen. Simply select the object and use the handles that appear. The next feature is rotate, which allows you to rotate the object. Then we have scale, which lets you change the object's size. Play allows you to play a video, and stop lets you stop it. If we want to go a step backward, click on this handle here, and if we want to go forward, click on the next one. Each layer has four features. Duplicate. The duplicate feature allows you to create a copy of the current layer. This can be useful if you want to make changes to a layer without affecting the original. You can duplicate the 3D object as many times as a wish, independent of the size. Hide or toggle visibility. This allows you to hide a layer from view. This can be useful when working with multiple layers and you want to focus on a specific one. Lock. This feature allows you to lock a layer so that it cannot be selected or edited. This can be useful when you want to protect certain elements of your artwork from accidental changes. The trash can stands for delete, so with this, you can delete the unwanted layer. It is important to organize the workspace, so by clicking the folder icon here, you can easily drop the wanted layers into a folder. Now you can edit them all at once, in a group if wanted. If your object is animated, press play and watch how the objects come to life. Another addition to the layers is the text feature in Bridge. You can add a text layer with this button here. Just type in the wanted text. As many lines as you want. Change the color, size, or shape of your text. You could edit them all together by simply selecting a whole text or editing them separately. You can choose to outline the text by ticking this box here. You can easily move and place the text layer further from the target image. Now, name your artwork. You can click the Artwork Info button to add information about your artwork. Once you've filled out your personal information in your main profile, your social media links will automatically load. Click the Save button located in the screen's top right corner. Wait for the processing to complete. Again, like in the basic mode, the recognition stars will grade how clearly the Artivive app can recognize the artwork, affecting the AR activation. The views count will show how many times your artwork has been scanned with the Artivive app each month. If the message this artwork already exists in our database appears, it means is a duplicate and someone has activated it before or repetitive elements have been used in two separate artworks, like logos, headlines, or other image parts. If you have any questions, you can always access the knowledge base. Simply click on support and find all the information you want on how to get started frequently asked questions, tutorials, and more. Congratulations! You have successfully created your first augmented reality artwork. You can enjoy it by scanning the artwork with the Artivive app on your phone or tablet. You can also share your artwork on social media and even sell it on the Artivive Marketplace with the Marketplace subscription. Make sure to upgrade your subscription by clicking on the profile. Here you can see the status of your account. Click on Manage Subscription and choose one of the subscriptions that include the Marketplace feature. You can find more information on our website about pre-recorded or live workshops on creating air artwork. And why not? You can organize a workshop with us all by yourself. Get in touch. That's it for our tutorial on how to use Bridge by Artivive. We hope you found that helpful and that you're excited to start creating your own AR artwork. Remember, the possibilities are endless with Bridge, so be sure to explore all the features and tools it has to offer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell about our videos.